Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion on logarithms. For this video, I am going to talk about the change of base formula. The change of base formula can be used to evaluate a logarithm with any base. So for any positive real number m, b, and n, where n is not equal to 1 and b is not also equal to 1, if we have a logarithm of m in any base b, we can write this as logarithm of m to any base n all over the logarithm of b to any base n. So it follows that the change of base formula can be used to rewrite logarithm with any base as the quotient of common or natural logarithm or whatever base you want. Okay, so to illustrate the change of base formula, let us take a look at some of the examples. Suppose the logarithm of 6 with base 5 is equal to a and the logarithm of 11 in base 5 is equal to b. Use the change of base formula along with the properties of logarithms to rewrite the expression in terms of a and b. So we are given the logarithm of 5 in base 11. So we can actually rewrite this as okay we can write write this uh, a ratio as a ratio of two logarithms okay in the numerator this would be the logarithm of five whatever this expression here is okay five in the denominator that would be the logarithm two of the base that's a logarithm of 11 okay this logarithms can be of any base ano kahit ano ang base so since our given is a logarithm of base 5 so this would mean that our logarithm should be of base 5 okay so we have logarithm of 5 in base 5 all over the logarithm of 11 in base 5 we know that the logarithm of any number with the same base with that number the number and the base are the same this is the basic property of logarithm number one right so this is equal to one okay that is why uh, the numerator is now equal to one and the denominator is logarithm of 11 in base 5 is given right there it's b okay so basically our answer for number one is one over b okay that's our final answer for number two we have logarithm of 55 in base six remember we do not have any base six as given so we can write this as the logarithm of 55 in base five we need to change the base okay because the given is a logarithm in base five okay this is six so 55 and 6 okay the logarithm of 6 in base 5 is given as a but we have a problem with the numerator logarithm of 55 in base 5 okay we know that 55 is equal to 5 times 11 right so we can write this as logarithm of uh, 5 times 11 in base 5 okay so in the denominator, I think uh, we can write this as A already, okay? So we don't need to change the denominator anymore. Okay, and then for the numerator, we are going to use the product rule, okay? We are going to use the product rule. Uh, it will become the logarithm of 5 in base 5. Okay, since this is multiplication, we are going to add this with the logarithm of 11 in base Five and then all over a okay logarithm of 5 in base 5 is equal to 1 okay and then plus the logarithm of 11 in base 5 is given to be b and then over a that is now our final answer 1 plus b over a for this problem okay that's how we use the change of base formula I hope you understand that, but if you have any question, please uh, write them in the comment section or can, you can email me. Okay, see you in the next video.